Oh, what did I do next? I developed some UN54. Orwell UN54. This stuff's hard to get hold of. I've talked about it in the past. It is a black and white film that is fresh. I had to, the only way I could get it was to buy a whole thousand feet of it. Um, and uh, uh, that can be, oh, if you have a reseller account with Carl, K A H L, you can buy it. If you have connections, which I'm happy to say I have connections, I got myself a thousand feet of it from Adrian Cousins. Thank you, Adrian, again, if you're watching. Um, so, uh, yeah, so uh, so this is how I developed it. By the way, any black and white, you can get Foma Pan black and white um, from, uh, from, from Russia, um, my mate. Uh, what's his name? Sidor Matrasov, he, he sells Foma Pan. Uh, do it with Triex. You can try Triex as well. I don't know if these development times are gonna are gonna work with Triex, but why not? Just ten minutes um, at one plus fifty Rodinol. Get yourself some Rodinol. If you shoot black and white, Rodinol is amazing. It develops everything for and one twenty milliliters. I got a whole liter of the stuff. I still haven't got halfway through it. Twenty three degrees in one plus fifty Rodinol for ten minutes and fix, and that's it. Easy peasy. And I got these lovely results here from the other weekend. I uh, Now that everyone's been injected with the COVID vaccine, I was able to, um, to do a nice, uh, have a nice weekend with family eating uh, raspberry, raspberry tart there. Um, then, because I was with family, this is an interesting thing. We're going to get on something so freaking cool. This is the high point of the whole show, so stay tuned. A book called What's Hidden in the Woods. This uh, My niece had this book. And she's only four years old, but she loves it. It's a very clever book. It's illustrated in all these different colors. And you get this red, green, and blue filter to look through. And when you look at the pages through the filter, see, that's normal. If you look at it through the blue filter, you see those owls at the top. And then if you look at it through the green filter, the owls have disappeared. So it's great fun uh, for kids. I promptly stole the filters from my niece and I set up a camera, a nice uh, Canon 814 uh, XLS, and I filmed some flowers and I filmed it on the black and white Orwo film through diff three different color filters. Now you're probably thinking, well, what's the point using color filters with black and white film? Oh, you haven't seen anything yet. So that's the green filter, the blue filter. Right, here we go. It's the highlight of the show. Look at the flowers. Oh, whoa, whoa. see that they just changed color. That's the red, green, and blue. And then I shot this shot, red, green, blue filters. Look at it, red, green, look at it. It's all changing. It is slightly different each time. Then red, green, blue. So I, I filmed all of these. You know what's coming. You ever heard of a guy called Maxwell? I don't know his first name. He invented color photography before they had color film. He filmed stuff in black and white with red, green, and blue filters. He then projected it with a red filter over the projector of the red image, a green filter over the projected green image, you know where we're going, and a blue filter over the projected blue filter image. And when you put the green and the blue together, it makes this and when you put the red on top of that, you got a color picture using black and white film. This made me so excited. I know it's a bit dingy. Uh, I haven't done any more color correction. But look at, look at this. Look at how the red flowers are kind of moving a little bit. And then, then this, this shot, yeah, also got color. You know what? It's a bit, it looks a lot dingier here than it did on Premiere, which I did all this in Premiere. But uh, then you can even see the, the colors go slightly out of whack, out of registration here and there. But this is how you can get a color picture of something that's not moving using just black and white film. Bloody amazing! Mm -hmm.